intimate pork belly. It's nice. Look at it, guys. Beautiful. I love this. It tastes so good. Oh, beautiful. You want to serve this at your table if you're one of them who eat pork. Guys, welcome, welcome back to June in the Kitchen. Today, guys, I'm going to cook with you some sticky pork belly. So come on over and let's get started. So we're going to start. So guys, here I'm putting in my pork belly into the pot. So having them here nice, clean, and ready to cook. Just putting them in. At the same time here, I, I'm going to be making I, my chicken stock. And I'm using better than bullion. So I'm using, this is a four cup, four cup in this one cup, four cups. And I'm gonna do it twice. Note it is concentrated. I'm gonna add another four cups to the pot. That's eight cups of water. Two tablespoons sugar, more garlic. I use more because it was a small garlic, I just put it there. God, it won't make it won't make it any different. It will make it nicer. It won't change anything. Like about four tablespoons of ginger. It's like about two of my tongue. Right? boil for two hours. We're gonna start this baby up. Leave it to boil. Anything with ginger is good, right? Ginger and garlic, hmm, can't go wrong. So leave it here to boil for two hours. And after two hours, we'll come back and show you what next. See you back and that's two hours into our pork belly cooking. And look how beautiful it is. Look at all that fat that came out of the pork. Look so tender, look. Look, it's very tender. Now we're gonna turn the fire off and we're gonna take it off and we're gonna drain this baby out. We're gonna drain it here in my sink, in my strainer. Very but it's important to cook it, you know, slow cook it with all that ginger, that garlic, and everything come together. So we're draining it here. While our pork belly is cooling down, we're going to be making our stick sauce. So we're going to have six tablespoons of soy sauce. Four tablespoons of brown sugar. Two tablespoons of ginger. Maybe about three tablespoons this. Okay. One large cayenne pepper. I'm going to use four tablespoons of honey. One. Four. A half a teaspoon of lemon juice. So you could squeeze your own lemon and use that. A pinch of black pepper. Oh, that's not a pinch. Oh my God, that's the Jamaican pinch they're going on there. I make sure this is a pinch of salt. We don't want too much. pinch of salt and I think we got it now right we have it here let's clean up here so guys it wasn't a quarter teaspoon of lemon juice it was a half teaspoon I'm gonna mix everything here together okay we're gonna put this aside 
and leave it right there. Cut our pork in like bite sizes. And this is smelling good, it's melting. And guys, you don't have to take it with the bone. I took mine with the bone because I know I love bones. I don't know about you, but I do love bone. I love my meat with bones. So you don't have to take bones. So our pork is all done cut up and we're gonna put like about four tablespoon of oil. This is too slow for me. Four tablespoon of oil, about four tablespoon. And we're gonna get our oil hot. This part, you got to be careful. I remember when I was a child and my mom used to fry pork like this. <laughs> all splash all over face neck all over so guys at this point you make sure you don't get burned okay let, let this frying pan get heated your oil get heated all right so we're gonna put these in everything in here oh this was and get let's up to this now that's all purpose seasoning and all of that. Nothing missing. Nothing missing from the pork. Remember, we didn't use black pepper. We didn't use no all purpose. We didn't use no evil spice. We didn't spice up anything. But I'm telling you, it's delicious. Because while I was cutting it up, I just had to have a taste. And it's delicious. That's that rice wine, wine good. The ginger and garlic did all the work. So we don't need to have everything seasoned. So careful over here. We're gonna cover this up and leave it here to we're gonna turn it over, give it some time to get some color on one side. You come back and let you see how this baby goes. Getting some color here. So I will, I'm gonna allow it to get color on all the sides, both sides. That it guys almost done getting the color and we are looking for i want to give a big shout out to pc and reach pc and reach pc i so appreciate you because when the man comes to my channel to leave a comment oh my god to leave one of the best comments sincere to some thought into it and it's not just that I'm here watching the video. It's detail. So big up yourself, PC and Leech. Much blessing to you and your family. Much happy holidays. Wish you all the best. Scratching feet. PA is another one. He is another one. I don't know how um scratching feet does it but if i put up a video he's first to be there if i put one on instagram he's on first oh my god i take my hat off to you scratching feet i don't know how you do it but be blessed scratching feet be blessed thank you so much for always being there now we finished this is the end product and look at it beautiful sticky nice and i want to take a sample just for you because i always said before you give your food to anyone you should be the first to taste it so i'm going to taste mine right on camera mm -mm -mm. oh this is good that ginger mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. This is good. The sticky, the ginger, the garlic, everything just entwined and it's delicious. I know delicious is not the word to describe it, but that's the one I can find right now. But it's good. Guys, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Leave me a comment. Let me know how you feel. Try this recipe. If you like it, let me know. So guys, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. And as always, remember to stay healthy, cook with love, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Thanks for watching.